What's the dramatic method of a character's fatal flaw? What's the posh word for it? Isn't that a Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 right. Beautifully, um, a fellow's Hamasha could be his jealousy. I think there are other aspects to his character that kind of suggest he has other flaws. Um, what's else kind of makes him this tragic hero? I think it's his background and culture. You know that like, he came to um, um, he came to the area. Uh, I think he was seven. I think uh, he was young. So obviously he's like he's not really in the culture. Like he's inside it, but he's not. Like, he doesn't know it. So mm. he's he's kind of taking advantage of it too. Excellent, thank you. Um, linking to what Evan and Gessler said, I'll say that he's very generous with his trust. And because he wants to fit in, he'll trust anyone who's higher up that he can try to join in with so that he can be as if he's one of them. And that leads to his downfall. Excellent. But back on what you were saying about Iago, like I actually think he's actually my favourite as well. Yeah, he's my favourite villain ever. Because he's just yeah. like he's actually so smart there. Yeah. And I'm like I'm always attracted to like smart people and how like they work with their yeah, yeah. um he is clever. Yeah. But he got found out, so I don't think he's that clever. No, 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 but think about it. But, but like, he still <laughs> refused at the end, didn't he? It's yeah. his refusal to give a reason or a justification for his villainy, mm. which does make him the only oh, yeah. Yeah. Issue, yeah. When well, you don't know the reason why they like Officially did it like we always heard like he gave us like multiple reasons yeah but we don't have yeah, no clear view of why he did it. So Angel isn't a traditional villain. Obviously, most people think that he's a hero. He's hardly represents him to be a hero, and we start off kind of seeing him like um, rebel against the religious boundaries in the society, and we think he's going to be a really really um, powerful character that rejects sort of the traditional elements of society. However, as the book goes on, you see that he's completely opposite and he's a really deceitful, malicious character in that sense. He doesn't, um, for himself, he's allowed to reject boundaries. He has a one night stand, we learn about that and he's allowed to do that. But for his wife, even though she was wronged and she was sexually harassed and she was manipulated by Alec and she conveys that to Angel, Angel sees her as the fallen woman that Victorian society would see her as. And that's really sort of manipulative and it's really, um, hypocritical. So I think that shows that he's a really malicious character and he's actually incredibly evil and that I think highly conveys that yeah. in that novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. We're reading a book called Othello and it's a really interesting book and especially when your whole class loves reading it's like when something happens like big in the play it's everyone gets excited and yeah it's probably one of my favourite things we're doing at the moment. Um, I really liked studying the books we did in GCSE and um, I just kind of had a passion for English and wanted to continue that into A level. In GCSE you're basically studying two books for a long time whereas this is a lot more fast paced and in depth and it's just you get a better understanding. I just think it's really good to sort of Especially as me, I'm interested in like the history and stuff, so looking at books from different centuries, I find that really interesting. And history as a subject, or like the essay writing and skills you learn, that is really helpful for my other subjects. Like I do history as well, so it's beneficial there. So, hello Year 11, I'm Mrs Bolton and I'm one of the A-level English literature teachers. And thinking about what is literature at A-level. So, literature, English literature as a course, it is a core subject and it is considered a facilitating subject uh, for Russell Group Universities. It is highly regarded, it is highly respected, as it is a rigorous academic course. The course essentially is an in-depth study of a wi wide range of literature texts where you are given the chance to um, enhance your critical and analytical communication. So it's very similar to what you do now. You know, you do critique literature texts already, you know, Macbeth and Inspector Calls, but you just do it with another layer at A level. Um, students view literature through uh, social commentary. We consider attitudes of people at the time in which the texts were written. Our texts cover a, a, a large period of time, so we don't always do sort of older texts, so Victorian texts and texts set in um, Shakespeare's time. We do a lot of contemporary texts as well, and much more recent than, say, in Inspector Calls, for example. So some 21st century texts too. Um, if you love reading, 
then this is the course for you. You, um, and this is not to put you off at all, but there is a lot of reading with English literature, which you can imagine, because we study a text, we analyse a text, we immerse ourselves in um, a perceptive discussion about a text, and that's, I think, what the students enjoy most, actually, is a discussion element. Um, every year this course is really popular, it's a popular choice every year, so I do hope that we see lots of you um, signing up to this course this year too.